All right, guys, this is the completion of the renovation that we did at the historical house on 11th Street at the Five Points. This is the final product after we got her a historical house at the Five Points. Uh, I would like to remind you that uh, we had nothing to do with the decoration of the house. We only did construction, but uh, usually we never come back when the houses are fully furnished. However, this is a rare instance where you get to see how the house looks once it's completely furnished. This is going to be a short-term rental. And you'll see the details that they added furnishing-wise. Everything is ready for the first rental this weekend. Every single amenity has been installed. And this is the way that the house looks. It's a little extravagant to say the least. The house is full of colors, both in the walls, on the art, and the furnishing, corpons, amenities, decoration. I don't know what the deal is, to be honest with you. I only do construction. But I don't get things like this. This is an original fireplace from the existing house. I really don't know when this house was built. I know that on 2022, it got a full renovation by us. Not one wall was left uncovered, as you can see in the previous videos. And the colors are a little bit odd, but uh, Designer says that they complement each other, so I'm gonna believe that. And we got some good old Fox you might remember. You may not from the Golden Years. Golden Girls, I'm sorry. It's a different show. And we have quiet rooms like this. with a quiet bathroom like this. Quote unquote quiet. But then we also have very unique areas of the houses, like the one I'm about to show you. This is a powder room. Yeah. And then we also have the second floor. And on the second floor, we also have a mixture of uh, a quiet bedroom with another place that uh, it's called a makeup place. And it's everything but quiet. It's a makeup vanity. Let me cut the lights off. It's a triple makeup vanity. With a very elegant bathroom. Double showers.
and then a quiet bedroom, quote unquote. With a very popping bathroom. Ta -da. I don't know about this, but remember, we only did construction. And I don't know what, what's going on with those guys. And this bedroom, I don't know how to describe it to you, so I'm just gonna show you. Apparently this is a California inspiration. Whatever that means. And he's supposed to have a vibe like Beverly Hills. I don't know. I don't know what area of Beverly Hills. But that was the inspiration for it. I don't know where this came from. It's supposed to be a closet. Somebody's sleeping in the closet. Which is life is not me. And that my friends is how this project turned out at the very end. I wanted to show you the end result because uh, I never get to show you that. Not a fully furnished house, especially not one with a triple makeup vanity. But yeah. That's what we do. I think my favorite part of the house is the kitchen because that's the one that they couldn't add those many colors. None the least, they did add it, those colors on the backsplash. But to me, this is my favorite area. This is the most quiet, zen area. I'm too old, I guess. I don't know about all that. So, yeah. Another finished project on Nashville, Tennessee. This time it was at the historic area of the Five Points. Um, Make sure you share the videos. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Share whatever you can. Share whatever video you like or you don't like. Pass it on. I'm having a slow month subscription-wise. So if you can help me, I would really appreciate it. That's the only way I can do more of this content. Not that you're asking for, but it'll be nice to have your support reflected on numbers. Uh, as you know... On YouTube, everything is about numbers, and my numbers are not representing what I'm showing them right now. So, if you're cool, subscribe, like, share, leave a comment, make some noise. Just like this house is making a lot of noise with the colors. I don't know what is all that about. I'm too ignorant for that. But, hey, I want to share with you guys. I'll leave you with a good smile of my good friend, good old Betty White.